morning everyone for module three we are going to look at subtracting integers so we're going to start with a number line similar to what we did last time so again we're always going to start at zero so for this first one i have four minus two the first thing you want to do is draw a line to that first number four now we're taking away two so we need to go back to the left two and we see our answer is a positive two now we are going to focus on rewriting that as an addition number sentence. So if we're just looking at the number line, when we did our addition ones last module, we always start at zero and went to the first number. So we know our first number here is gonna be four. Then we added, here we're going to the left two, so we knew that that needed to be a negative two, which gives us a positive two. Now if we compare our subtraction to our addition number sentence, we can see that we were doing four minus a positive two here. We changed to addition and we changed the positive two to its opposite of negative two. All right, let's do another example. Negative three minus one. Again, we're gonna draw an arrow to our first number. And this time we're subtracting one, so we're gonna go one more to the left to end up at negative four. Now we're gonna rewrite this as an addition number sentence again. We go to our first number, negative three. We add, we went to the left one, so we need to add a negative one to get that negative four. Again, if we look at our subtraction versus addition, here we subtracted a negative one. We changed to addition, changed, or we subtracted a positive one, we changed the positive one to a negative one. So our rule for subtracting an integer. To subtract an integer, we're really adding its opposite. So each time we change from subtraction to addition, we change the symbol and then we did the opposite of the number we were subtracting. All right, now we are going to continue looking at this um, by looking at a few numbers. So the first thing we're doing is adding up the following numbers. So if I add up 10 plus negative one, oops, plus six minus four, I know that plus negative four, I know that gives me 11. Our total is 11. If we were to take away the 10 from that original thing and add up the numbers given, negative one plus six plus negative four would give us positive one. So as we can see, we took away a 10 was the same thing as adding a negative 10. All right. The next one, we're going to add up 3 plus negative 9 plus 4 plus negative 5. When we add these up, we know we get negative 7. Now we're going to take away the negative 5 and add the other three numbers. So if I add 3 plus negative 9 plus 4, I get negative 2. So subtracting a negative five or taking away that negative five was the same as adding a positive. So taking away a negative was the same as adding a positive. So as we talked about above, when we change a statement, for example, here we had negative seven, take away minus five was negative two. We can rewrite that as addition. We want the opposite of this number opposite of negative five would be positive five, negative seven plus five is negative two. So our last thing for this mini lecture would be to just rewrite these subtraction expressions as addition problems. For example, three minus two, three, change to addition, the opposite of two would be negative two. For this one, keep the first number, change to addition, the opposite of negative one is positive one, 3, change to addition, the opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. And our last one, negative 5, change to addition, the opposite of 2 is negative 2. All right, everyone, that was our mini lecture for this module. Good luck with the activity and discussion for this week.